morning and welcome to today's Baylor Bulletin. I'm Courtney Govan. And I'm Zebra Valdez. Frederick Douglass was an African-American social reformer, abolitionist, orator, writer, and statesman. After, after escaping from slavery in Maryland, he became the national leader of the abolitionist movement in Massachusetts and New York, becoming famous for his oratory and incisive anti-slavery writings. Douglass said that if there is no struggle, there is no progress. There has been an increase in graffiti across campus, and this is not okay. Graffiti is considered vandalism, and those found guilty will be held accountable and could be facing school fines and further discipline. Vandalism, such as clogging toilets and breaking dispensers, has been an issue too. If you see or suspect something, report it. The weather keeps changing, but the dress code does not. Please be advised that those found violating the dress code will be sent to the office, asked to change, and or call home. All teachers and staff will be addressing students. Here's a reminder of what, what is not allowed. Saggy pants, clothing advertising drugs, alcohol, or anything gang-related, short tops that show any part of the torso, short shorts, skirts, dresses, and hats and beanies are not be to be worn indoors. Our campus is not a trash can, so don't treat it that way. Please pick up your trash. Trash not yours? Show your Baylor pride and, keep help, the camp and help the campus be clean. As a warning, areas that are found to be left with trash will be taped off and closed down for use. Don't lose your spot. Keep it clean. Freshmen, next year, do you want to learn surrounded by the best of the best? Do you want to get a head start on preparing for college? Heck, do you want college credit before you even get there? If you think you are up for the challenge, then sign up for the AP European History Informational HST, Monday, April 25th. Come see if this class is for you. This HST is just for those who have not signed up for the class yet, but are seriously thinking about it. If you have already enrolled for next year, they will have a special HSTs for you in May to go over the class and the summer assignments. Monday's HST is just for the undecided. Are you interested in creating artwork for yourself or with your fellow classmates? Stop by the Art Club on Friday at lunch to learn more about what you can do and how you can get involved in creating a mural with us. Being involved in an art class is not necessary. Meetings are every Friday. Seniors, we are looking for senior performers, singers, dancers, musicians, poets, etc. for Senior Parents Night, scheduled for Thursday, May 19th at Bellotto Park. Interested seniors can stop by the room 231 after school or email iallbright at sbhsd. Seniors, would you like a free shirt? Fill out the form. You should have received an email from Mrs. Lemos that contains a Google form. Please fill it out by the end of the week. The last day the Student Payment Center will be accepting personal checks is May 6th, starting May 9th, cash or credit card only. Do you need a laugh? Let our comedy sports team entertain you. It's competitive improvisation. Friday, May 6th at 7 p.m. Mark your calendars. Air Jam applications are available on the school website. Over $300 in prizes are available. There are multiple categories. You can enter as a club act, a class act, or a competing act. Have a $10 entry fee. Clubs and class acts are free to enter. Be sure to sign up by this Friday, April 22nd. We need a minimum of 15 acts in order to put on the Spring Air Jam, so start getting your music and dance moves ready. Prom tickets are on sale in the Student Payment Center. Your $60 ticket includes four rides for three hours, unlimited gameplay for three hours, dancing, a photo booth, and snacks and drinks. Don't miss out on the memories. Need a ride to prom? A school bus will be available to take students to and from prom on Saturday, 4-23-22, for free. Pick up a permission slip in the Student Payment Center. Return it, signed no later than Thursday, 4-21-22. That's it for today's Baylor Bulletin. Thanks for watching, and remember, Go Baylors! Baylors!